Cuckoo. Cuckoo. Okay, cuckoo. Hi, everybody. Um, so I'm trying to plan out an eventful day for us today. We are going to go try to get a hoodie printed. I have a blank hoodie and I've been meaning to get it printed, get something printed on it. And also, um, we're gonna go to a like bookstore because I have all of these um, Vogue magazines that I would like to get rid of, honestly, because I'm moving. So that's what we're gonna do. If there's anything that you would like to see in these videos, please comment below so that I can go ahead and make these more interesting for all of you to watch so you don't have to watch 15 minutes of me doing nothing. I don't know. Just comment below. Just leave, leave me a comment. Um, Plas Gambetta. So I live um, just near this little circle, little sound. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and walk um, to this printing place and see if I can go ahead and get whatever I want printed on it. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna take you through the Perlisha Cemetery for like a sec. Actually, I wonder if I can. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Here's the entrance and let's see if I can actually go in, I'm not sure. So I'm walking through Perlisha's Cemetery. Um, it's because it's stunning. If you know all the famous people that are buried here, you can go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Because uh, I'm not really sure. But I don't know if I can like, really film a lot here. I'm not sure that I should, because I feel like that's kind of rude. <laughs> so I'm just going to film myself. It's a gorgeous day outside. Holy shit! Oh my gosh, just even the tree is. Oh my god. Ah. One thing about Paris that I will just never get over is how pretty it is to live here. Like, it's so pretty, you know? Like, I lived in New York for 10 years. And, like, obviously there are moments where I'm like, wow, this is super pretty. And, like, wow, my god. But in Paris, it's like every day I think that it's pretty. Every day I'm like, oh my god, it's so pretty here, you know? It's like the city is pretty and the people aren't. <laughs> That's not true. The people are very pretty on the outside, just not on the inside. Okay, I'm trying to explain my hoodie and I can't finish my thoughts. So I bought this green hoodie, right? Okay. Green hoodie! It's totally blank. I bought it for like five euros. And I want to print something on it since it's blank. So I found this saying. It's, um, what is it? If you are binary, if you are non-binary... You look non-binary. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm not doing well this morning. <laughs> if you are non-binary, you look non-binary. And I really like that saying because I don't feel anything. I don't think that I'm a man. I don't think I'm a woman. Okay, so I just filmed the whole thing and my phone like deleted it, so... Here we go again. Okay, cool. <laughs> Technically, like my sexuality and my gender orientation and all of that has been, it's always a journey, right? And I don't want to um, say that I'm one thing, but on the internet, I feel like I have to say that I'm something so that I categorize myself so that other people can feel comfortable with knowing what I am. So I kind of am just saying non-binary for right now. I like the idea. I like the concept. Uh, so yeah, I am getting this um, thing that says that I'm non-binary because I just want to like uplift everybody who doesn't want to form to a social construct. It's all a social construct. <laughs> Gender is a social construct. Okay, so I just went into like this huge rant of 
social constructs and you know gender and whatever but I'm just gonna show you some of Paris and I'll show you some flowers and let's go get my hoodie printed Woo! okay so I'm just gonna list off the things that we're gonna do today really quickly um, so we're gonna go get my hoodie printed um, and then we're gonna go drop off some magazines and see if I can donate some magazines um, and then what was my third thing um, hmm. I can't remember <laughs> Oh God, I have things to do. Third thing is that I want, I'm i gonna buzz my hair. So I'm actually gonna give myself a haircut and I'll just show you what it looks like. Okay, so I just went to one printing place and they said that I would get it back tomorrow and I don't want that for my vlog so I am going to try to go find another place. There's like another place and they've told me before that they would do it in an hour. Do it right now. That's when I want it. Thanks so much. Bye, bitch. So I got my print. Yes, it looks so good. I kind of love it. So this is the, the printing place that I went and they did it in five minutes. Like it's done. I didn't even have to wait an hour. How does it look? <laughs> I'm gonna change actually, cause I really wanna put it on. Oh my God. I wanna change my hoodie and I want to prop my phone up on something. And I feel like every time that you want to do something like vlogging wise, someone's like right behind you. Like it's always like that. The time when no one freaking bothers me. <laughs> yeah, wait, yes, they're cool. <laughs> you literally just walked by one of the guys, the guy that printed my hoodie. Okay, so I'm going to this bookstore because I know that they sell old vintage magazines. And I want, and I love the guy who owns the bookstore. I want to go and give him my old magazines, my old Vogue magazines. This whole time I've been in Paris, I've been collecting Vogue Paris, but I'm kind of disappointed in Vogue Paris. Because they're not pushing anything important, in my opinion, right now. And I just don't agree with that. Like, they have such a big platform and they can do such cool things, and instead they focus on, like, the best vacation spots. Changing my views, I guess. It's taking me forever to get this bookstore because I don't know where the f I'm going ever. <gasps> what the? F okay, I'm finally 
on the right path, I think. Okay, well, it's, it's pretty outside. <laughs> I'll give it that much, like, what else? Okay, so I'm almost there. Oh, and it's close. <laughs> great, 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 great. This is where I wanted to go. Comptoir de l'Emimage. Okay, that's where I wanted to go, so... I feel like I'm never gonna accomplish anything today. I'm gonna go to a different bookstore called um, O Affair. I know that they also carry like vintage magazines. So I'm just gonna ask them if they want them because I literally don't know what to do with them. Oh, Jenna, look, Jenna. I just saw someone with your, your jacket. My roommate has that green jacket. I'm gay. Are you gay? And if not, would you like to try anyway? We're taking new applications and it's really fun. <laughs> People are staring at me. This is gonna be really hard for me because I've been collecting these Vogue Paris magazines for like, since I started living here in Paris. It's like, should I get rid of them? Uh, should I? Maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna go to this bookstore anyway and just take a look around and maybe buy another magazine. <laughs> um, but I'll ask them, I'll just be like, oh, I have like a bunch of magazines, like, would you take them? Because I have other magazines that I can get rid of. So that's what I'll do. I'm not gonna, maybe I won't get rid of my folks. So I made it to OSR bookstore and I'm just looking at some of the books right now, some of the magazines. Okay, so I just bought a magazine instead of giving them magazines. <laughs> so that sucks. But um, I'm about to, I think, get on the metro, the metro, and go on home. So, okay, I need to just go ahead and structure the rest of this. I'm going to show you the magazines that I bought, um, and then I'm going to go work out. I'm going to take you with me, and then I'm going to buzz my hair, and then I'm going to take a shower, and that'll be the end of our day together. I'm just going to show you the magazines that I just bought. It is Numero. I've been buying Numeros and just looking at them. Because that's what I do with magazines. I just look at them. I bought this Vanity Fair with Aya Nakamura on it. Comment in the sections below what you're thinking. Like, I bought it because I really love Aya Nakamura. Also, Billie Eilish is in this. So, done. What? Since when? Cool. Um, and then I also bought Dansk magazine. I don't know that much about this magazine. But I buy magazines just for the picture. And I love all the graphics. Comment in the sections below like what you know more about Dansk magazine. And ready, I'm gonna get into something to work out in now. <laughs> okay, this is what I'm gonna work out in. Just another hoodie and some sweatpants. Finally on my way to do some workout. Oh God, this is gonna be... Okay, just gonna motivate myself. It's just hard when it's cold out, but I can do it. So, okay, I'm just gonna go to this park over here. Okay, I just finished my workout. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and go home. I'm kinda hungry, so I'm gonna eat something. Oh, 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 ping pong ball. My doctor says I can't be participating in any activities where there'll be balls flying at my face. <laughs> there goes her social life. <laughs> Name that movie. There goes her social life, bitch. 
I'm really tired. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna I'll eat something and then I'll do my hair. And then I think we'll call it a day. Okay, I finished eating. I'm gonna go ahead and I want to buzz my hair because it's getting a little long and I've actually like in my videos I actually I'm like oh well it's my hair looks really like kind of unshapely yeah I hope that it's like entertaining <laughs> okay so this is my buzzer normally I would take my shirt off but I'm not going to because I am not going to give you that privilege and um I do it out the window right here <laughs> Okay, so this is becoming really frustrating. I'm just waiting for my my razor to charge, like, watch. Like, it'll go and then, like, literally in seconds it stops. Okay, it is time for me to finish this video because um, it's been very long for sure. I'm just gonna have an apple. I try to eat an apple every day uh, because uh, you know that saying like an apple a day keeps the doctor away. I really believe that that's true. Oh, oh god. Well, I'm gonna finish this video. We had a long day today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Mmm. It's sour. Thank you so much for watching um, my videos, and I hope that they're like entertaining. I enjoy making videos and I enjoy sharing like my my life with everybody. I think they're pretty silly and so I hope you think that they're silly as well. I'm gonna keep posting videos every Tuesday so see you next Tuesday. <laughs> um, okay thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all next Tuesday. I hope you loved it. Please comment, like, subscribe, anything. Um, yeah, just let me know that you're here and you're watching and that you like it. And push the gay agenda. Bye.